Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. Hey, I've got a two-part special just for you guys that want to swap out those batteries and make them civilian. And maybe if you have a battery equalizer to rebuild that battery box and put in a battery equalizer, brand new batteries, and a battery tender. Two-part series. This video will be about prepping that battery box and checking that power distribution block. Let's get started. In and out of the rain showers, I have measured the battery box and it is 28 inches deep and 27 and a half inches, give or take, wide. If I need to make a cable, which I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna need to make a cable, I'll have enough to do this project. So as I am getting ready to pull all of this apart, I want to kind of go over some of the things or reasons why I am doing this. Um, especially because some of you are thinking, well, wait a minute, why do you need a battery equalizer? You have that power distribution block. Well, the battery equalizer is an electronic box that monitors the batteries very, very well. And it extends the life of the batteries where the power distribution block, all it does is it's just a dumb hunk of metal and it sends power to what it thinks is the weakest, but it's not really thinking at all. It's just kind of solid state. So it does a good job, but it doesn't do a very great job. And if you want these batteries to last like I do, man, I wanna take care of this the best way possible. And there is a couple different ways of how to do the battery equalizer and a different thought processes which should be going through your mind. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Well, before I get to this next destructive part, I wanna talk a little bit about this guy here. Now, here is the thought process. A lot of guys will just go, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the uh, 12 volt battery side and I'm just gonna uh, make this thing a 24 volt, but you still have 12 volt things. So you have to either get a converter to convert the 24 volts back down to 12, or this little guy will do it too. Um, hooked into this is uh, 24 volts, and what comes out of this side here will be 12 volts. So this is really what you can do to just plainly go to a 24 volt system with the batteries. And I just want to maintain four batteries. That's all I want to maintain. I don't want to go to just two and try to maintain everything off of it. I, I actually have four batteries, so I'm good to go with that. But some people, maybe their alternator has took a dump. A dual alternator is very expensive. 24 or 12 is pumping out two voltages at the same time. So a lot of them will just go to a 24 volt system. And the reason for that is because, hey, 
you don't really need the 12 volt for very much stuff if you're just kind of running you know, uh, a few courtesy lights or something like that while the engine's not running. It's not a big deal. If you have a camper or something like that that you need a lot of 12 volt stuff, then you're gonna need to have uh, a way to have not only charging the 24 volt side, but also charging the 12 volt side, which is what this thing does. Now I know what this thing is like trying to get this battery uh, box out of here. And that's what I wanna do to create more room. Yeah, remember, I've, I've torn the one out of Patricia, and I know that these, there's a eight on each side, so a total of 16, and they're all through bolts. In order to really get those off, you have to remove the tanks. Since I don't want to have to do that, it's going to be a little destructive. Okay, not too badly damaged, <laughs> just a little bit, not, not too bad. All right, well guys, this is what it looks like underneath that battery box. I need to clean this up, and then I'm gonna put my uh, new platform down right inside this. It's gonna be epic. All right, all I did was hose it out with a garden hose. All right, what I have here for my new platform. Yeah, this is a bathroom, made out of a bathroom stall board. I know you're probably not gonna be able to find those. I was lucky enough that uh, Bob actually had one. And it looks like I'm gonna have to do just a little bit of a modification. Now, I know that not everybody is gonna have some bathroom board, but you know what, you don't have to use that. There's been folks that have put uh, big pieces of uh, aluminum down, quarter inch thick or so. Heck, you could even put marine grade three quarter inch plywood down. That would work, I'm sure, just fine. It lasts for years to come. There's not a whole lot of moisture that gets in there, but there is some. So as long as you have a, a, a deck that is gonna support these heavy batteries, I think that you're going to be good to go. Seventeen millimeter. Got to get this out of the way to get that platform in. There we go. That fits. Little bit of adjustment for a couple of bolts. No problem. Easy does it. After sitting for a few days, do you think that the cab will still come forward? Let's check it out and see. Hey, always do a walk around. I don't know how many times it saved me in the aircraft business doing a walk around and seeing that, dang, I left something tied down. I can't start the engine yet. Make sure you do the same thing with your truck. I don't think there's any leaks here. It's been four or five days since I started it. Now that the cab is forward, I'm gonna have to get that spare tire out of the way so I can get down to that power distribution block.
Here's a couple of pro tips. When you ever let that tire down, make sure that you ball that chain up and just lay it on top of the air over hydraulics platform there so that it isn't dangling down here and the tire sets on top of it and you play heck trying to get the chain back out. Also ensure that your strap is not twisted. Use the canvas strap, put it through the loop, and uh, just hook it on here. And this is just to hold all of this out of the way. That will save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches. All right, I'm standing where the spare tire would be. First thing that I'm gonna do is remove this clamp here so that I can move this out of the way because there's the power distribution block right there. Fortunately for me, the polarity distribution block looks like it is in great shape. I refurbed it about a year ago. I have a video on that. All you have to do is search my channel for polarity distribution block and you will find that it's pretty easy to refurb it. You just have to do exactly what I just did, get all of this back off of there and then pull those terminals, clean it all up. Man, I would really recommend doing that because that is just a, a corrosion nightmare. Get all that corrosion cleaned up and you'll have no problems with your batteries or at least it'll wipe out a lot of the problems that you might be having. Well, that just ensures that I won't have any problems when I go to put my batteries in and get that battery equalizer in. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a great day. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.